Hello, Bio26L students. This is Scott. I um, hope you guys enjoyed meeting Hank last week, uh, and he will uh, be back, so look forward to that. Um, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through uh, a couple steps on how to do your gel analysis of your restriction digest. So in order to do this, you guys are going to need a couple things. One, you're going to need a picture of your gel, um, and you need to have a ruler in the picture as well as your uh, allies instructed you to. Um, you're going to need uh, some kind of very simple picture editing software. In this, I'm going to use Microsoft Paint. Um, and you're also going to need Logger Pro. Uh, and you should have downloaded Logger Pro. Uh, at this point, everybody, uh, there's free licenses available. Um, if not, you can go ahead and visit our course website uh, to find information. Email your LIs, email me, um, and we'll get you set up. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, use Microsoft Paint to take a look at one of my gels. Um, and this is just a picture I saved to my desktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this with paint. And the reason I'm doing this is I want to crop down the size of this picture. Uh, so Logger Pro is a little bit easier time doing analysis. So uh, what I need to do here is just kind of select down um, so I get most of my ruler. I can see the measurements. I'm getting just my gel in. So I'm going to go ahead and crop that. And I'm just going to save it again to my desktop. As a JPEG, it doesn't really matter the format. Uh, maybe just rename it here uh, for Logger Pro. Okay. Let's see. You can see I've already practiced this once, so um, it's all good. Now we're going to go over here and open Logger Pro. And we're going to click on the uh, insert button and gel analysis. And I'm going to take it from a file because I just save that to my desktop and here we go you can see i've got the picture saved right there open and here we go okay so the first thing you guys are going to notice is that we've got a picture of our gel here we've got some little buttons here on the side uh the data set and this graph here now this graph here um this x and y uh plane we it's not really that important so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select it and I'm going to delete it just by hitting the delete key because we're not really focusing on that. Um, the type of uh, analysis we're doing is really just a uh, number of base pairs. So what I'm going to do here is just rearrange things a little bit. And you can do that by moving your cursor over the box. And you see it turns to the uh, finger, finger selection. And then you just click, hold, and drag. Uh, and Logger Pro will snap it up there for you nice and easily. Um, I'm also going to do the same thing here, but I'm just going to resize my data set because uh, we're going to be measuring the log ladder here. And it's got a, quite a few bands. So now I'm just going to expand this down as well. So I get a nice big picture. And you can see this is the reason why I decided to crop it in Microsoft Paint. <clears throat> okay. So we are now ready to start uh, our gel analysis here. Um, and the first thing we want to do is we want to set our origin. And you can think of the origin as the... Um, x-axis uh, and what we're going to do here is I'm just going to click so I clicked set origin button and then I just clicked once here in the logger pro um, and what we're trying to do here with our origin is we're trying to set it so that it is in line with the front edge or the leading edge of your wells so you can see obviously my picture's a little crooked here don't worry you see this little dot if you click and hold on it, it allows you to just rotate your origin here a little bit. So I'm going to try to get it in line as best I can. I'm going to drag it up a little bit. Uh, and again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but the uh, you know the better in line you get, the more accurate uh, the program will be. So you can see I'm pretty close here. I might be a little, a little high, but let's see. Get a little better. Uh, that looks pretty good right there. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do now, we have our origin set. We're going to click the next button underneath it. It says set scale. And this is why it's so important to have your uh, ruler easily visible. Um, now, I, you can set your scale based really on anything uh, as long as it's consistent. So from here, you can see this is the end of my ruler. So that's the zero. And I'm going to go all the way down to 10 here. And again, 
Um, it's not 100% perfect, uh, and I do apologize about this picture. I should have used a, uh, you know, one of those camera hoods, but, you know, I was moving pretty quick. Uh, so what we're going to do here is I, I'm down to the 10 centimeter mark, so I'm just going to enter 10, uh, press tab to get over here, and the units are obviously centimeters, hit OK, great. So now we've got our scale set. Um, moving along now. So we go down to the third button here is a uh, set our standard ladder. So you just need to click that once. And now we're going to go through, and obviously this is our ladder right here in this line. And we're going to go through and tag each of the bands here and what their uh, base pair number is. So where do we get this information? Um, if you go to our course website, Right here, and let's go up to lab resources and exercise four. This is uh, going to be our two log ladder. So you can see the first band is uh, 10,000 kilobases, 10 kb. And we have 8,000, 6,000, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.5, 1 1.2, 1, all the way down to uh, 100 base pairs. Okay, so. Let's make sure I've got my ladder selected. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click here and just go through pretty quickly. Um, and remember, this is the first one, so we're at 10. Um, and you may have to click back and forth between the gel analysis and the um, <clears throat> ladder band size or base pair size. I've done this enough where I've got them pretty much memorized. So again, you can see I'm clicking on the leading edge of the band, uh, and that's important because you don't want to be kind of in the middle. That's not really the most accurate. Uh, you can see these bands have some some depth to them, um, and the most accurate is on the leading end. Okay, so here's a good point um, to kind of stop and take stock of what we're doing. Um, if you notice this big blue smudge in the middle, well, that's the uh, leading die front. Um, that's what you guys were using to determine if you would run your gel far enough or not. Uh, and that's actually obscuring 9 through 600 uh, base pair two log ladder bands. Um, and that's okay. So what we're going to do, though, is you can see this next bright band here. That's 500. And I know that because I can go and back and look at my picture of the two log ladder here, and you see this one that's really bright? Yeah, and that's relating to 0.5 kilobases or 500 base pairs. So um, that's a good one I recommend. If you, if you don't have really clear bands between 1,000 base pair and 500 base pair, just go ahead and drop down to the 500 base pair, and that's just fine. It's not going to mess up your, your base pair measurement. Um, and, you know, I'm going to go ahead and actually stop there because if you look, uh, none of my bands and really none of your bands should, if you've done everything correctly, run below um, 1,000 base pairs. So that's enough of tagging my ladder there. Um, and now I'm going to start tagging my bands. So I'm going to go over here where it says add lane. And I'm going to add a lane. So this is uh, ladder, my ladder is in lane one. This is automatically sending it over here to lane two. So uh, go ahead and then just click on the front leading edge of these. And there you go. So you see I've got uh, 1,947 base pairs and 858 base pairs. Um, so I can go ahead and continue to do that. So I'm going to add a lane. And I'll do it for my next one here. Okay. Do it again. And I got one more in here. Okay, so there we go. You can see there's a small margin of error here, but everything's pretty consistent, um, which is you know what we're looking for. Uh, you know, if you're off by a hundred or so, you know, not a big deal. Um, it's just kind of what I would call a user error or 
you know, not getting it right tagged right on the front leading edge. So, um, hopefully that was uh, informative for you guys. And, uh, you know, let me know if you have any questions or are unable to download Logger Pro. Um, I'll go ahead and leave my contact information on here, but uh, it is also on our website under uh, course contacts. You'll be able to find me here. Um, all right, guys. Well, good luck with your digest this week, and uh, we'll look forward to uh, some good results.